So the lab in Wuhan was unsafe. That was obvious to Americans visiting there two years ago. And because of the practices there, the Chinese may have unleashed a global pandemic on the rest of us. Here's something remarkable and upsetting. The work in that lab, including its research into disease-carrying bats, was funded in part by you, by U.S. taxpayers through the National Institutes of Health. Hard to believe that's true, but it is. Congressman Matt Gates represents Florida. He joins us tonight to follow up on this story. Congressman, that's one of those stories that if you, if you had said that out loud a week ago, I think even I might have dismissed you as insane, but it's true. How did this happen? Yeah, I'm against funding Chinese research in our country, but I'm sure against funding it in China. The NIH gives this $3.7 million grant to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. They then advertise that they need coronavirus researchers. Following that, coronavirus erupts in Wuhan. And then what's really troubling to me is that either conspicuously or miraculously, the Wuhan Institute of Virology is able to sequence the virus on January 2nd, but China doesn't admit to the virus existing to January 9th. And then the Wuhan Institute of Virology doesn't release this important scientific information to the world until January 12th. So at best, Americans are funding people who are lying to us. And at worst, we're funding people who we knew had problems handling pathogens who then birthed a monster virus onto the world. By the way, China is about to eclipse us in terms of the size of its economy, if it hasn't already, and it seems like it already may have. Either way, why would we be sending any money to China for any purpose? There is a far too cozy relationship between U.S. research and Chinese research because there are some research institutions in our country who realize the short-term benefit of Chinese cash. But that doesn't excuse our government. And what should really trouble viewers is that this is an active grant. This isn't something of yesteryear. And so I've called on Secretary Azar to immediately halt this grant to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. They have not been honest. And at worst, they've been negligent to the point of many, many deaths throughout the world. This will live on for all time as a metaphor for our incompetence and self-loathing. It looks like there is evidence that this virus escaped from the lab. We don't know that that happened, but it's not a crazy supposition. And now it turns out we were funding the lab. Do you think, just to bottom line it for us, that someone can end the funding to the Wuhan Institute of Virology? If we can't do that, I mean, really. Well, well, I believe that Secretary Azar can do it with the stroke of a pen, and certainly it is consistent with the fantastic news that President Trump gave us today, that the United States is no longer going to be a patsy for these America-last organizations like the WHO and the WTO. Uh, we've been taken advantage of in those globalist infrastructures for far too long under both Republicans and Democrats. President Trump gives us the chance to liberate ourselves from this and to put our people, our health, and our economy first. That would be nice. Congressman Gates, thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker.